Hello, hello, and welcome back to another MCAT question of the day. My name is Theo Bennett, one of the tutors here at MCAT Self Prep, and I personally used our free e-course to get a perfect 528 when I took the exam. I'm going to be walking you through this question as though you were one of my private tutoring students, and I'll try to be giving you some of the tips and tricks that I learned along the way uh, so that you can also have success on your MCAT journey. Today, we're going to be dealing with quantum numbers, which is a pretty heavy topic. So why don't you go ahead and press pause, try this question out for yourself, uh, and then we can regroup and try and explain. Okay, so let's jump into the explanation. So like I said, quantum numbers are a pretty big concept. I don't have time to really cover this all in detail in such a short amount of time. But essentially, quantum numbers help explain the orientation of electrons that surround a nucleus. There are four different numbers. Each number is assigned a different letter to show you what type of number. Um, so we have the N number, which stands for the amount of energy that's um, contained with it. The L number, uh, which talks about the different shape. The M number, which is the orientation of the shape. And then the S number, which is the spin within each of the individual suborbitals. So you can find more information here, just in more detail. They have different values of different integers, but essentially that's uh, kind of the the overview and what the MCAT will test. It doesn't go super in detail, I would say. Okay, so I love this question, right? What is quantum number? So we can kind of see some of these numbers visualized, right? So like we were talking about, the N number, which is the first number, it talks about the energy that's contained. And so as we increase in our N number, these orbitals get bigger and they also get an added node. And then we have the S number, which is again, gonna be the different shapes. So we start off with this kind of spherous looking thing. Then we get to these dumbbell looking things. And then the D orbitals honestly are just kind of crazy. You're not expected to draw any of these, um, but you should be able to recognize them and you don't need to know um, the F orbitals. Also, uh, something that's important here is each individual sub node can only contain two electrons. And so the different orbitals are going to be filled in a discrete way. We can see here that these quantum numbers, again, are dictating the order in which these are, are going to be filled. And so you can see that it starts if you wrote everything out on your paper, kind of like a Christmas tree where we're starting with all the S's and then all the P's and all the D's and all the Fs, um, they get filled in this kind of diagonal way. So as we're increasing in number, so one to two, two to three, three to four, we're adding in an extra letter, right? So Ps, then Ds, then Fs. And again, it gets filled in this pattern. So let's jump back and see if we can answer this question, again, knowing these key facts that we talked about. Like I said, we don't have time to cover everything with the different quantum numbers, but let's see if we can try here. Okay, we have our N number, which tells us the amount of energy that's contained. And in this case, all these answers line up, right? They're all four. And then we have the L number. So again, L starts at zero. So zero is S, which is the spheres. One is going to be the P orbitals, which are those dumbbells. And then two is gonna be the D orbitals, those funky looking things. So right off the bat, we actually already know that it's gonna be four D. And then these M sub L, and then F sub S, M sub L is just the orientation. You're not expected to know the different numbers and how they correspond to the different orientations. I have no idea how they relate, but I just know that each of them is different. And then with M sub S, those are the different spins. And again, this is just a negative spin. There's nothing that's really tested in detail about that as well, too. Thanks again for listening, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, feel free to subscribe to our channel or share this with your friends. Um, and you can also head over to MCAT Self Prep, where we have lots of different free content, uh, free questions and videos, and just things to help you, because uh, we're just trying to lower the cost that's associated with applying to medical school. So thanks again, and see you next time.